Okay, I'm using an MFJ259 uh, SWR analyzer. It's an old one, but still very functional. When I'm checking an antenna, I always like to start just outside the band edge. I'm, I'm checking a uh, 75 or 80 meter antenna. I start at 3.440 and just slowly tune up. Watch the left, watch the left meter as I tune upward. I hit my lowest point at roughly 3.6, so that's where the antenna is resonant at. All right, and uh, to see how high I could go to stay within two to one, I'm at roughly 3.66 megahertz uh, for the two to one point on the high end, and on the low end, my two to one point is 3.5. 4.2 roughly. So that's the range that you could expect to have a 2 to 1 or better SWR. Uh, this antenna also is a trap antenna which works on uh, on uh, 40 meters also. So here I'm at 8.4, 8.0, tuning down toward 40 meters at 7.3. All right, it begins to drop at 7.3. I reach my low point at 7.054, which means the antenna is resonant, resonant at that frequency. Now, of course, if I go down to 7.0, I'm still uh, a little below 1.5 to 1. On the high end, uh, my 2 to 1 point is at 7.164. Uh, if I, uh, to, just out of curiosity, to check my 2 to 1 point, on the low end, it says 6.94. See, my resonant frequency is low. I could shorten the antenna and raise that resonant frequency a little bit. I might could take six inches off each side just to raise it, but right now it works okay. Uh, mostly I'm on CW anyway, so uh, that's that's a, that's fine with me. But the point is, you to check your 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 two points where you are two to one or less. And it, I, I, I call it kind of like sweeping an antenna. Uh, so if you started, you started at the very low end of the band, uh, roughly 7.0, 7 and you work your way up, there's the lowest dip, 7.05, and then you go up 2 to 1 at 71.60. At 7.3, the high end of the band, I am just uh, a little under three, 3 to 1. A little under 3 to 1, which I use an antenna tuner with, and I'm, I'm on... The phone band's okay, no problem.